in the tradition of John Wesley, John Calvin, Martin Luther, and so many others, all those who were reformers, when the church forgot that it was a movement and had turned into an institution. If we listen closely to God's leading in this new thing, we will be a new generation of faithful women and men who can lead the church into a new reformation. This day is so important, my friends. If we can just begin to live into the vision, lay out in the vision document, if we can begin to open ourselves to the idea of putting mission and vision before structure and organization, if we dare challenge the way we have done anything and everything, if we can imagine a new way to be church, to rethink church, to rethink conference, if we can truly claim this new conference boundaries as a new mission field, and learn to become witnesses by word and deed to the transforming power of God, if we never lose sight of our mission and continually are willing to revision, my friends, that our work and this God-given, recreative opportunity will be for us a blessing and for generations to come. Can we truly live in such a vision? Since the vision comes to us from God, through the hearts and the minds of God's people, of course we can. And just a few thoughts as we move forward into the rest of our day. Number one, let's remember that when we leave the sanctuary, or as we continue our work, <coughs> what we are doing is both holy conferencing and worshipful work. That we need to pause in prayer often and listen for God's leading. Secondly, we'll do our very best not to speak of our conference using the M word. Merger. What has been so exciting in this since day one is that we are not speaking of a merger. We are literally building something new from the ground up, learning from our past best practices and maybe even some of our failures. Number three, that our work will always keep our mission as the main thing and that we will try our best as we move forward to keep aligned to that mission. Four, that mission and vision be the focus and understand that structure is something that will enable the vision and vision. It is not an end in itself. And number five, and this may be most important, that we be patient with each other and the process as we move into not only a new conference, frankly, but a new way of thinking, a new way of being church and conference. Lastly, a word about the name. Because for him, it's kind of evolved out of the work of the team. No one sat down and said, hey, let's think about what names we could use. It actually is a connection that I mentioned before with Isaiah and the land. It is a connection that all of us are affected by and affected by this presence of this mighty river whose watershed almost matches identically that map of the new continent boundaries. As the team felt the movement of the spirit and realized that we had been placed in this particular area, by God to carry on our mission. The land in which we dwell is rich in tradition and metaphor. The river and its watershed is a part of our lives. The Susquehanna, for many of us, has been a blessing. And sometimes a challenge. Sometimes a unifier. And sometimes a divider. The flowing water ought to be for us a reminder of our baptism. And it so much reminds us of the river of life found in the vision in John's revelation. The truth is, 
even when we try to stay neutral and not call it anything but the new Congress. The river metaphor, much like the land in which the people live, <coughs> was repeated so often in the Old Testament, just kept jumping up. It just kept, let me say it again, the river just kept rising. I don't even want to wait for that. I took this long ago. We know that this name, we know that the name Susquehanna or any other name must be voted upon and pr probably will be done at our two conferences this year uh, in June. And so we thought we would offer today as part of the whole vision document so that you can try it on. See how it fits, so that we can even live into it for a while and see if it makes sense. Folks, why us? Why now? Why has God called us to this place at this time and this holy formational work? <coughs> God knows. God knows. God said, do not remember the former 